In this video, we're going to have a look at equations. We're going to look at equations in a different way now. We're going to take, uh, we're going to have a look at some problems, and we're going to make up our own equations from that problem, and we're going to try to solve the equation and so also solve the problem. Okay. For the first one, you know that apples cost 50p per kilo, and Alan buys a bag of apples that costs one pound and 65 cents or pence actually. If the bag contains x kilos of apples, write down an equation involving x, and you also have to solve the equation. All right, first of all, I do not like that I have pence and I have pounds. I am not a big fan of decimal numbers, so I'm going to put pounds in pence. So what do you need to know? One pound is actually 100 pence, okay? Now, 1.65 pounds is then going to be 165p, or pence. The first problem is you have to write down an equation. What do you know? Apples cost 55p for every kilo you buy. How many kilos do we buy? Well, apparently we buy x kilos. So 55p times x. And that's what we should pay. You know that he buys the bag of apples and it costs him... 1.65 pounds or 165p. Okay, it's important that you have the same unit. So 55p per kilo makes 165 apparently. How can we find x? So that's question A. Now, question B, how do we find B or how do we find x? Well, 55x is equal to 165. That means that x is going to be 165 divided by 55. x is going to be 3. So now, there we have it. He buys or we buy, he buys, three kilos of apples. Okay? All right, let's have a look at something else. A bit more mathematical. You have three consecutive whole numbers, and they add up to 36. You have to know what these three numbers are. All right, first of all, there's a big word in there, this one. Consecutive. Consecutive numbers are numbers that follow up on one another. For example, um, 2, 3, 4. Or 15, 16, 17. Or 1, 2, 3. And so on and so on. Okay, so consecutive numbers. So they add up to 36. You have to determine the three numbers. All right, so if we say the first one is x. The second number would be x plus 1, if it's consecutive. The third one would be x plus 3, right? Uh, no, not 3, 2. All right, so because you keep adding 1 to it, right? So what do you know? All of these add up to 36. So we just made the equation. First step, this is the equation right there. And now I'm going to solve it, so x and x and x, that makes 3x. 3x plus 3 is 36, so 3x should be 33. x is going to be 11. So now you have x, but you're not done yet. You have to determine the three numbers. Well, if x is 11, <coughs> x plus 1 is going to be 12. x plus 2 is going to be 13. And these are our three numbers, 11, 12, and 13, okay? There's no one way to do this. You could have also said, I am going to, instead of picking my first number to be x, I'm going to say my last number is x. Then you have uh, consecutive numbers, that's x, x minus 1, and x minus 2. Those would have been your three consecutive numbers. And also these add up to 36. So if you add them up, You should also get 36. What do we get then? Again, 3x, but now it's minus 3, and that should be 36. So 3x is now 39, so x is now 13. You might say maybe, but my x is now different, but that doesn't really matter because in this case, x is my last number. So my three numbers are going to be 13, 12, and 11. And again, the same ones. See? It's not always one right way to do it. All right, let's have a look at the final one. <coughs> okay, 
A taxi driver charges you two pounds plus one pound ten per mile for all journeys you drive. You have to write down the cost in pence for traveling m miles. Now, in pence, so that means I need to change all these pounds. So because this is in pence. All right, so two pounds that is going to be two hundred pence. One point ten pounds is going to be one hundred and ten pence. Okay. You have to write down the cost, so I'm going to use cost, I'm going to say that's C. So the cost is always going to be, when you get in a taxi, the meter already automatically says 200 pence. So you're going to start off with 200 pence. Automatically, you have to pay that, no matter what direction you're going at or anything. So you're going to start with that, and for every mile you ride, you pay another 110. So, and how many miles do you ride? Well, M apparently. So your cost is going to be 200 that you start with, plus 110 for each mile you ride. Now, this is C. The cost is equal to 200 plus 110M. Now, if the charge for a journey is £3.65, you have to write down an equation and use this to determine the distance that was traveled. Be very careful here, guys. This is in pounds. I need you to be in pence because this here, your whole formula is in pence. So I'm going to read write that I'm gonna convert that into pence so what do I know my cost of a journey was 365 so at one point 200 plus 110 M was equal to 365 how many miles did I travel I'm obviously looking for M and I'm just gonna solve this equation and 165 divided by 110 M should be 1.5 so how many miles did you travel? Well, apparently it's 1.5, okay? Each exercise is gonna be a bit different, so be careful, have a good look what you wanna pick for X, and good luck on the exercises.